Hi everyone, welcome to Now in Android, episode number 36. Let's start talking about modern Android development. The series on Work Manager still continues with two more episodes. The first one is about working in the background. If there is something that you shouldn't do in Android apps, it's block the main UI thread. And in this episode, Ben Weiss goes through how to perform background work using Work Manager. The API to use depend on whether you use uh, executors, coroutines, or Alex Java. The other episode is advanced configuration and testing. Also, Ben here explains how to customize the initialization of Work Manager, what happens or how to support uh, applications that span up multiple processes, and how to test and debug different workers. Talking about Android X releases, we had the usual incremental releases that we have every couple of weeks, but to be honest, most of them were about bug fixes. But you know me, I work on Hilt, so I cannot ignore the fact that Hilt and the Android X extensions in Hilt were promoted to beta. So namely, we have the view model, uh, work manager, and the navigation extensions that are now, all of them have reached API stability. But if you're using Hilt, navigation, and Jetpack Compose, we released a new library or new artifact called Hilt Navigation Compose that is going to help you retrieve Hilt provided view models that are scoped to a destination in the navigation graph. So if you're using all of these libraries, uh, you can check this out and everything and all the information is available in, in our docs. Talking about articles and, and videos, we have a, a bunch of them going on the, this week. So we have an update on Android's audio latency written by Dom Turner. Uh, Don is going to cover the different improvements in the Android uh, audio latency world and also how this affects the real time audio applications. So he's going to say like what everything, like how everything changed. Also, like the plans for the future, like which kind of figures we are targeting, and how to get started using uh, OVO, which is a library for audio developers. Another article is uh, a UX journey of Compose Preview. You may know that Jetpack Compose has been developed always with the users in mind, the users being you, uh, our friendly <laughs> developers. And so in this article, Prithi and Paris from the UX team is going to explain how this feature, the, the Compose Preview in Android Studio, was first designed and also the different how the different UX research studies have influenced its design and implementation. We know that apart from these studies, like the community takes a key role here with all the feedback that, that you give to us. So thank you so much for improving all of these products. Another uh, article was about announcing a new library, and it's uh, the article is called Announcing Where OS Tiles the Alpha Library. So this alpha uh, went, uh, th this library went alpha, and it's actually to, to create custom tiles in Wear OS. Uh, a tile is basically this way to easily access information and, and user actions in Wear OS without needing to open the application. Just as, as an FYI, like the tiles that you create with this library will be available to users in the future whenever they get a new platform update. So this library right now it's for prototyping and you know uh, having to get a look at how your your tiles will look like in the future. Uh, the team also released uh, API guidelines for Jetpack Compose. So here we have a collection of patterns, best practices, and style guidelines for writing idiomatic uh, Compose code. Even if you are not working in Compose, I, I highly recommend this, just because it gives you an idea of all the different thoughts that were into the API design of, of Jetpack Compose. So it was pretty interesting. Regarding videos, we have this new YouTube series called Android Code Along, that basically we are live streaming how to solve programming challenges that you can face as an Android developer. In this first episode, Karen Chang and I came together in a live session to explain how to use coroutines on Android. So first, we started with the coroutines documentation, but then we moved on to Android Studio and we did some pair programming completing the coroutines basics code lab. And it was quite fun to do as well because we were like programming, we were able to answer questions coming from the community in the live chat. So if you're interested in learning coroutines, I highly recommend this video. It was quite fun to, to record. Another thing going on is the Android Dev Challenge. You know that Jetpack Compose went beta a couple of weeks ago, and with that, we started this challenge. The first week, the whole internet was flooded with puppy adoption applications. 
Then the second week, it was about a countdown timer. Everything was ticking down. Everyone was submitting a lot of uh, applications. That was great. But in the third week, we wanted to do something different. It was time for a challenge for the fastest fingers. So here, respecting uh, pretty much everyone's time zone, Android developers were challenged to complete a design that we were giving them as quickly as possible in order to, to win a, a Pixel 5. But that happened last weekend. So if you didn't have time to complete this challenge, don't worry about it. You can use all these challenges to you know, get some motivation to start writing composed UIs. But as we speak, we have the, the fourth week happening. We have the grand finale with a lot of prizes that we are giving away. So it's a, a good opportunity to, apart from winning some prizes, start learning something new like Jetpack Compose, which is going to be something very important in the future. Also, talking about podcast episodes, we had a, a new uh, episode uh, of the ADB podcast. Probably you guessed it. Yes, it was about Jetpack Compose going beta. And here, Chet, Roman, and Tor uh, met with four people from the Compose team. It was uh, Nick Butcher, Clara Bayari, Leland Richardson, and Adam Powell to discuss what, what is this Jetpack Compose going beta really means. And they, apart from you know talking about the implications of Compose being beta, um, they also talked about some features that Jetpack Compose offers, for example, uh, coroutines, how coroutines influence the API surface of, of Jetpack Compose, uh, material design implementation, and how to create your custom designs, as well as things like constraint layout. So you, you should listen to that because that was a pretty interesting conversation. And lastly, what I want to mention is that Android Developer Relations is hiring. Our team is hiring. So if you want to join our team, probably you can be the next host of Now in Android. Hopefully, uh, I really want that. Um, it would be quite nice because uh, we, are, we are trying to make our team bigger. And our director, Jacob, uh, wrote this blog post about what uh, our team does. Basically, like apart from videos, we have articles, we do a bunch of stuff. Apart from that, there is a description of the different open positions that we have uh, open across the world, so not just in, in particular places. So if you're interested, again, in joining our team, please check out that, that article because it's, it's going to give you a sense of what's going on in Android. And that's everything I had to, to say today. So thank you so much for listening. The links of everything that I mentioned today is available in the Now in Android episode 36 a blog post in Medium. Um, thank you so much for watching again. If you enjoyed the, the video, please like, share, and subscribe to the Android Developer channel in YouTube. Bye.